Hello, my name's Joel Dunning and we're here at the STS 2024 uh, and I'm delighted uh, to be with uh, Bushra Changut, uh, who is originally from Turkey, but is here as a fellow in the wonderful Mount Sinai Hospital. And, uh, and, and you're here um, doing a session uh, and it's really interesting because you've actually done a survey all about uh, the impact of being a cardiac surgeon, woman in cardiac surgery on the family, which I think is fascinating. So first of all, thank you very much for coming to talk to us uh, and then maybe tell us a little bit about your survey. Yeah, sure. Thank you for the opportunity to share our uh, studies results. As we all know, like a woman in uh, medical training, the number of women in medical training is increasing, rising. Uh, however, the woman in CT surgery, the gap, gap uh, in the gender is still uh, remains uh, substantial. So um, Therefore, like we wanted to kind of conduct a survey just to ask like what are the positive and negative aspects of the, uh, the field, especially focusing on their families, partners, spouses and their adult children to understand better. So uh, this is just an iceberg of the, it's a tip of the iceberg basically. There are lots of disparities that women are facing in this field, such as like other authorship roles, leadership positions, um, residency applications. So there are like uh, multiple uh, disparities in this field. There are some studies in the past, uh, they address, they focus on the, the disparities and challenges of uh, high demand uh, specialties and uh, focus on their children's well-being, family life, and but uh, the, we we realize that uh, there is a lack of literature uh, focusing on challenges of the cardiothoracic surgeons' families and understand their perspective from their own uh, opinions. You know, like uh, so th this was like kind of lacking in the literature. So that's why we wanted to address with this survey, and we surveyed the, the parents, co-parents. Uh, spouses and adult children of women uh, CT surgeons. Yeah, I mean, that sounds amazing, getting out to the actual parents and spouses and adult children. So tell us some of those findings. So, yeah. you know, is it all doom and gloom or, or what did you find? What yeah. were some of the key findings? As we all can imagine, obviously there are negative uh, aspects, negative uh, forces shaping this relationship. So, um, for example, it was kind of surprising. Almost 15% of our um, uh, spouses and partners uh, reported that uh, demanding uh, nature of the CT surgery affected their ability to, to have children. So this is, I believe, this is I think issue that we need to address. Like we need to address maybe like a work environment adjustment. Uh, we need to address the stigma about pregnancy in residency. Uh, the residency programs and also like societies should be more like support, supportive of uh, pregnancy or uh, you know childcare, also the well-being of their spouses, partners, uh, because this is an important finding. Yeah, so, so one in seven said they didn't have kids because the woman was in cardiothoracic surgery. Yeah, you know, that's pretty I shocking, isn't correct. it? Yeah, yeah, I think it's uh, so. I think there are still a big stigma in surgical fields mm -hmm. about pregnancy. So, I, I think that this should be uh, addressed with the uh, work environment adjustments. Yeah. And, and I think you said. Um, you did a survey about uh, who took the leadership role in looking after children as well. So what right. did you find with that? So yeah, majority, like more than 50% of our uh, partners and supposers, they uh, stated that uh, they took the majority of the responsibility responsibilities when it comes to their um, school activities of their children or medical appointments or some family events because uh, their um, their uh, partners are busy because of the like a CT surgery demanding schedule. So, so, so I thought that again is quite shocking really because you'd think that they'd mostly say it was 50-50 but that's not the case is yeah. it? It's, it's the partners taking the lead. Yeah, yeah. Right. But also uh, another uh, unique perspective our, of our study, we really want to uh, emphasize the positive as aspects of the, the, the specialty because we explored the multiple uh, positive aspects of this very rewarding, very rewarding specialty. For example, majority, like almost 90, 95% of the adult children, uh, they stated that their mother, CT surgeon mother, uh, served as a role model. They, they teach them the very important life skills. For example, um, work ethics, time management, or leadership, uh, you know, uh, characteristics. So these are the important things that 
adult children uh it's it's good to know like they they stated that their mother is like a role model serve as a role model also another another thing i just want to also uh kind of emphasize the ma majority of both uh, spouses partners and adult children they stated that the income of cardiothoracic surgeon mother has uh provided them uh flexibility financial stability and flexibility in their life so which also kind of important uh, for the family structure, I guess. So, so the message of the children is actually, it's overwhelmingly positive that actually Correct. sort yeah. of uh, great role model. And yeah, that's something we're to talk about is actually the two incomes rather than one, I guess really provides for, for the children, doesn't it really? So that's yeah. actually that's really good. interesting. So hopefully the, the, we are gonna submit uh, our manuscript and uh, be, will be published uh, soon. Uh, so hopefully the, the result, as, as I mentioned, both positive and negative uh, forces like shaping these families. So it, hopefully it's going to encourage young uh, women like myself uh, to pursue a career in the in the cardiothoracic surgery. So because it's like very rewarding uh, specialty with lots of positive aspects as well. And, and as a result of this surgery, has this changed your views on anything you might want to do in the future? Or um, yeah, definitely. I I I definitely want to. For, as I mentioned, there like a kind of uh, some stigma about the field. I really want to work on the addressing these uh, you know issues, uh, and also it was really good also insights and like you know comments that I get from like spouses, partners, the different perspective. It was definitely helpful. So to seeing the different angle of the, you know, uh, specialty. And, and you've got a partner and uh, he's not uh, he's not in medicine. What does he think about you being a heart surgeon? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's very supportive, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's, he's very supportive of me. Like he's not in medical field, but yeah, it's supporting. <laughs> and if you had to change one or two things in the CT surgery training program that would help women uh, in the UK, we do quite a lot of part time working. But uh, uh, is that, do you have any views on, on how we could change the system to benefit women? Yeah. Um, I mean, here, as I mentioned, like uh, to address this, like stigmas, especially like for pregnancy or uh, we really need to change the work environment, like a work adjustment definitely needed and like a programs and like the societies needs to kind of collaborate with the with the residents and just to address this um, stigmas. Also, I believe that uh, mentor mentee relationship, also scholarships, um, for example, I get one from women in thoracic surgery they are so valuable that understanding and have a sense of like a specialty because you follow the one of the attending uh, women attending and really like see uh, how they kind of balance their uh, life and work you know environment so it's very good example for trainees like me to see uh, you know uh, that from first hand like with their scholarship I think that there should be more like scholarship mentor mentee uh, programs uh to support the trainees women and who, who are your female heroes then yeah i mean i definitely uh, i can't thank enough the dr antonov uh she was so supportive um conducting this survey she helped me a lot and dr molena as well all the women in thoracic surgery um, members was, uh, were so supportive and um yeah i, I really want to thank you to them Great. Well, well done on a great survey. Really interesting. I can't wait to read it. And thank, thank you so you much for talking to us in CTSnet. Thank you. I appreciate it. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you.